Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. Today we're talking about the new Citroen Emulator V9 update, which dropped on the same day as the Eden Emulator update, and that timing definitely got people talking. Some users got worried because the Citroen V9 webpage wasn't opening, but don't worry, nothing's wrong. The devs just changed their repository link. Everything's working fine. However, after testing it myself, I've gotta say, even with the claimed improvements, I'm not too happy with this update. Let's go over the setup, settings, and real-world performance to see why. After installing Citroen V9, open the emulator and start with the initial setup. The first step is to enable notifications when prompted. Next, install your product keys and set up your game directory by selecting the folder where your games are stored. Citroen supports both NSP and XCI formats, so you can use whichever format you have. Once everything is set up, you'll land on the emulator's home screen, where all your games will appear. From here, we'll move on to fine-tuning the settings to get the best performance possible. Go to the Advanced Settings section and open System Settings first. Set the limit speed to 200%. This allows the emulator to unlock frame rates up to 60 FPS. Next, move to graphics settings and make a few important adjustments. Set the accuracy level to normal and adjust the resolution to balanced 0.75x for most devices or low end 0.5x for weaker phones. Set the V-Sync mode to mailbox and choose performance under the FSR 2.0 quality mode to prioritize smoother gameplay. The aspect ratio should be stretched to window for full screen output. If you're using an Adreno GPU, enable force maximum clock to maximize performance. Also, turn on asynchronous shaders, which helps reduce stutters, though it might cause occasional visual glitches. Now head to the Zepzone settings section and keep the memory layout at the default 4GB DRAM setting. For VRAM usage mode, select aggressive to make better use of GPU memory. Finally, go back to the main settings and add your GPU driver. This is required for Snapdragon devices. Click the plus icon, select your driver file, and you're done. The emulator is now fully configured and ready for testing. Now let's talk about performance. I started testing with Red Dead Redemption, Switch version, and honestly the results were disappointing. The performance was terrible. I was getting only around 5 to 8 FPS in open world areas. On the positive side, there weren't any major graphical glitches, but the game was practically unplayable. The strange part is, when I tested the same game on any other emulators, I easily got around 25 FPS or more on the same hardware. That's a massive difference, and it makes me question what's changed in Citroen's recent builds. Next, I tried Pokemon Legends ZA, and this one ran a bit better than Red Dead Redemption. I was getting around 15 to 20 FPS, which isn't smooth but more stable overall. There weren't any major visual glitches, textures and lighting looked fine, with only minor stutters in busier areas. It's not perfect, but the game was at least somewhat playable, showing a bit of promise if future updates improve optimization. Then I moved on to Dragon Ball Kakarot, and this one actually performed the best among all. The game launched without issues and delivered an average of 30 to 45 FPS. It's definitely playable, though you'll still notice some minor background glitches. Overall, I don't know what the developers are doing lately, but the performance has dropped drastically compared to older versions. The last two Citroen updates in particular seem to have lowered frame rates across almost all devices. Even with all the new features like firmware 20.x support, autoloaders, multiplayer overlays, and system improvements, the actual gameplay performance feels much worse than before. At this point, I'd say Eden Emulator is offering far better optimization and smoother gameplay. So, in conclusion, Citroen V9 looks like a step forward in features, but a step back backward in performance. Hopefully the devs fix these issues soon because the emulator has huge potential, but for now I'd recommend waiting for a stability patch or the next version before upgrading. I'll also be making a detailed Eden vs Citroen comparison video soon where we'll directly test both emulators side by side. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay creative gamers.